All right, 20 minutes is up. New team time. I suggest me. Any objections? No, good. <laughs> hey, no, no, no. As brigadier in charge of unit, I shall decide. Oh, unless you... Uh, you cutting your hair right now? Well, I had a proper haircut scheduled in for today, but unfortunately you built this in your fucking kitchen. So I figured, you know, I might as well do it now whilst we got a bit of a lull here. Time waits for no man. And it may end for everyone. Put it away. All right, fine. Well, you know these weirdos better than I. Why don't we do it dodgeball style? You pick one, I pick one. Yeah. I'm game. I choose... <laughs> Trap. Ah! Consider this your induction. You mean... You fix time? You can consider yourself unit's new scientific advisor. Oh! I won't let you down! And I'll pick you with the big curly hair. The older one. Yes! Suckage Baker! Well, I'd rather be here than old. <laughs> Have fun in there. Don't forget to bring lunch. <laughs> McCoy, a word? I've read most of the files on your doctor from way back when. He did some good work. I have no doubt that I'll live up to the tales. My second choice will be... All right, come on again. Yes! Oh, thank you so much! <laughs> Finally, a chance to travel back to my universe. There's no guarantee where you'll end up. Also, no, like it or not, your home is here. Home isn't where you're born. It's a feeling. And I don't feel it here. Okay, ouch! Uh, no, yes, except you, John. You are my rock, and I love you, and I will miss you. Uh -huh. I... Sorry. My second and final choice is the one with the exact same hair as my first choice, but with the blue ensemble. Huh? Who? Me? Why? I met the doctor that looked like you. He was one of the greats. You have great taste. And a great voice. Okay. Pertwee, Capaldi, McGann and Troughton. Same as before. If you're not back within 20 minutes, a new team will be sent in. Let me just get my watch. Uh... Tom, have you pickpocketed me again? How do you even do it from over there? I have my ways. <laughs> now hush. Ready you for? Three, two, one. Colin, have you uh... Shit, go, go, go now. Someone tell me what the hell is going on here. I mean, I activate Tomwood Protocol 4-7. Since when do we have protocols? Oh, check your inbox! But this is the exact kind of distraction we've been waiting for. Whilst everyone's trying to, you know, fix time or whatever, we can finish our tunnel out of here. Ace! <laughs> Although, do obviously make sure time is fixed. It would make our efforts seem rather pointless in comparison. Ooh, fair point. Whoopee! I never did make him admit that I'm better than him. Later. Priorities, madam. This is insane! Just you wait till the representative finds out! <laughs> so... Ah! <laughs> well... We're here! I won't lie. I was banking on Gallifrey. This is definitely the right universe. It just has that 
That smell! Oh, now nah, that's just me. Oh, my giddy aunt! I could be, you know. Get around a bit, I do. <laughs> the name's Brawls, and this is my salvage import and export emporium. Good day, my oinking fellow. I... Well, I'm the doctor. And this is my funny small assistant who helps me out. Oh, shove off. I'm Patrick and this is Paul. But more importantly, we busy. Well, wait, wait, wait. Before we go scurrying off, I've got a deal that you won't want to miss out on, yeah? Is that right? It could be useful. You never know. We hold a... Once it held a tyrant time lord within. Now it shrunk down and fit for all your cybermat infestations. An overly complex mouse trap. For only 50,000 credits. An overly expensive mouse trap. It has its charm, but not exactly what we're looking for. Thank you. Let me guess. With those clones? <sighs> I'll bet you're the adventuring type, in ya? <sighs> I've got just a thing for you. Lovely, jubbly. This. When you come face to face with your imminent death. Pessimistic. But likely looking at your little legs. But we got to pull this back, put it into your hand, ow, and then you simply tell the world your story. Or your kids that you love them. Whatever you humans do. Tell the world your story. You simply assume that we're humans. I get that all the time. It wouldn't have happened in Gallifrey's Prime. My people came first, after all. Get a girlfriend, Capaldi. Oh, shut up. Oh, this is exciting, is it not? Well, it's just a tent. What's got you so amped? This is my chance for redemption. All this time, Colin has kept me arm's length from unit. Can you believe? But if I pull this off, save time itself. It's back to my position as scientific advisor I go. It kind of seems like Troughton had a better shot than you. Oh, he's a fine chap. <laughs> but a little dim. Emphasis on the little. Ah, oh, there you both are. I was worried you might have gotten cold feet. Or, God forbid, grew a conscience. <laughs> nice tux. Thank you. Now, I've got a splendid job for you both to come along on. Oh, you'll learn so much. You'll be professionals in no time. Splendid! Professionals of what? Jack Reeves! Oh, hello. What are you three doing in my... Great balls of fire! That. You are my assassins in training, are you not? If you aren't, I would have to kill you for knowing too much. Yes, yes, murder is so, so cool. Yes, yes, good, the coolest. So, uh, what's the job? A high profile target, I assume? It's not about who they are, but what they are. Any guesses? Uh, trash eggs? No. Ogrons? No. Uh, Autons? You're just guessing things from your own era. Is it the suit from Oxygen? No to all. We are hunting a time lady. They don't happen to be called the Doctor, do they? <laughs> oh, goodness, no. <sighs> Ah, uh, as fun as that would be. <laughs> we are hunting a time lady called Zariah. She's a bad, bad girl then, eh? I've mud-wrestled a few of them in my time, you understand, yeah. Hmm? 
Probably. <laughs> the rumor is, is that she's somehow linked to what's going on with time. But more importantly than that, the pay is exemplary. So, by the sounds of it, we kill this one woman, and time gets fixed, just like that. Uh, maybe. And we get rich. I see no downsides. Neither do I. You'll both do well with that mindset. <laughs> now, tracking her in this crumbling universe has been tricky, but... She was last seen passing by the Kablam desk, exiting 17th century France, and then beelining for some shipwreckage nearby. None of what you just said made sense. The important detail is, she's here. Now watch the professional at work. <laughs> what a splendid idea! <laughs> Zoroya! As pretty as she is deadly. <laughs> How was the uh, Cyberman ship ruins? A waste of time with a suited moron nearly ruining everything. But I got what you wanted. Now cough it up, Brawls. I'm in a hurry. <laughs> well, if you've got any credits you also promised, then I've got anything and everything you want, love. <laughs> Just give it. Give me the credits first. Not before you show me you have what you promised. I know your reputation, pig. That's our word! Give it now. Don't know what you're talking about, love. I've got a lot of customers, you see. I think I might have mixed you up with some other ditzy broad. <laughs> you called her by name and reputation. Some of the clunkiest exposition this side of the Chibnall era. You in the green, can I buy your little friend there? I've got a circus ringleader who'd adore him. How much? Paul! I'm only joking. This! Do you have the piece for this or not, Brawls? Or are you about to become... Bacon? Oh, I've heard this talk from all my customers who think they're hard. If you don't like the service, then you can fly! Is he...? Yes. Bacon. One down. Might I ask what that is? High Council business. None of your concern. Oh, well that's good, because I am also a turn lord. Oh? Obviously, yes. I was sent by the High Council themselves to assist you. <laughs> I don't need assistance. Lord Tepesh trusts me and me alone. D -d Did he say assist? <laughs> Silly mistake, really. Um, what he meant to say was be guided by. Yes, Lord Tepesh said that we needed to be guided by the very best. And that's you, of course, probably. Yes. He said that. <laughs> All right. Um, so, you're both Time Lords? No, no. I am. This is my human companion, Mr. Chicken. You're not the doctor, are you? No, me? Absolutely not. I hate that guy, in fact. Especially that eighth incarnation of his, the one with the green coat. He's a real inconsiderate asshole. Okay. How much of the mission do you know? Tepesh, he didn't entrust us with all the details. You'll have to start from scratch. Classic to pen. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is the Temporal Disruptor. I'm currently traversing this decaying universe to find all the pieces to build it back on Gallifrey. Why is it needed? To save us. To save Gallifrey. It's the only way. Now you'll have to excuse my potential stupidity here. I was under the impression that it had already gone off, hence, you know, all of this. 
would be ridiculous. Building this is the only way to win. It'll fix everything. And this is what Tepesh has told you. You doubt us? You're not a Ramana supporter, are you? <laughs> no. She hates my guts. Don't take it to heart. She's an idiot. Now, you, me, and Mr. Chicken have a wedding to crash. Uh, what's your name? You can call me... The Traveler. Stay right where you are. All time is precious, Ood, so don't waste mine. Down! <laughs> <laughs> Nelson Wong, it's okay to retreat sometimes. It'll allow you to reassess your situation and win the next bout. Should I write that down? Situation reassessed. Time to retort. Ah, that looks cool, but this is pointless. We need to get to France. We need to what? You have a TARDIS nearby. I've got better. Its walls between worlds and times are fractured. We can step between them with ease. You have a strange definition of better. See that over there? You go through it, and you end up on Earth in the 17th century. Why there? Oh, you'll see. We need a distraction. Ah! What? you mess with the Cybermen? They're one of the most formidable armies in the entire universe! Well, I don't know about that. I very easily took one out a couple years ago. Lucky. You will all be upgraded. Stand back, everyone! I know what to do! Who's this beige twat? Davidson's brother or something? Is he with you? Looking like that? Definitely not. Listen! Mr. Cyberman, sir. You don't have to kill. You can be good. You can be a good little Cyberman boy. What do you say, eh? Delete. Build flashbacks, get up! What do we do? I never fought these bastards! Very simple, my friends. We use logic. Good day, my shining fellow. You wish to upgrade the best, do you not? Correct. Then I would hardly say that two elderly gents and a silly old dude are worthy of your race. But lucky for you, I know where you can get some good royal. Before we pronounce you husband and wife, it is customary for me to say, if anyone objects to this union, speak now or forever... Stop this wedding now! David! Sorry, force of habit. You! You mini lobcock! You dare show your face here! Ah, oh. hello, Renette. Oh, are you two? That's nice. Yeah, good for you. Your Majesty, you have what is rightfully ours. McGann? Troughton? Her Majesty will be upgraded. Ah! All rogue elements will be deleted. Delete, delete. Delete. You had that the whole time! It's only temporary, so let's act quick.
Uh, where on earth did that cyber chap even come from? Probably that big cyberman ship outside, but I'm no expert. So, how are we doing? Time fixture? Or... Obviously not! What the hell are you doing here? I was bored? <laughs> and besides, what was I supposed to do? Ooh. Not jump into the universe ending fracture in time? Yes! Oh, well, someone tell me that next time. Oh, uh, just, just kill me. I'm sorry, do you know this erratic individual? Unfortunately. We better get a move on, though, as a whole legion of Cybermen are marching on their way, right here as we speak. <laughs> it's not a joke. Humans and Ood detected. Oh, for fuck's sake, I just wanted to sit down for two minutes. Off to France we go. France, you say? I knew I wore this ensemble for a reason. <laughs> City of death. Here comes Doctor Who! Do 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 do! Renette Poisson, you have what is rightfully mine. Hand over the coronet of Rassilon. Called it. Do you want a medal or something? Hmm? I wouldn't say no. Dudley, what is this blithering idiot on about? Your crown, my lady. I am Zariah of Gallifrey, and you will hand over that coronet, or your husband oh. won't see the honeymoon. Put that gun down, now! Ha! Uh, my love, I, I suggest doing as she says. After all, our lives mean more than just some heap of metal, so if you wouldn't mind quite quickly. Paul! It is an important part of my world's history, which I will defend with my life. Then die. Dudley! Miss Poisson, I hate to disappoint, but I am not Dudley. I am the representative from the British Broadcast Corporation. I have no fucking clue what's going on. So please, stand down so we can talk this out. that you would be foolish enough to render yourself unarmed. Always important to look for moments like these. Oh, that's actually a good one. You got a pen? It's fine. Oh, there are too many of us here and too much going on. We all need to take a chill pill. I believe this is what you were truly after. Hidden beneath the throne itself. Never allow yourself to be distracted by trivial things. Hmm, no matter. I only need one other piece anyway, and then I can just kill you and take that off your corpse. Good luck doing that from the great beyond. Ha! That primitive weapon won't kill me for long. I've still got all my regenerations. Oh. My employers did not mention this. Not ideal, but could be worse. You just had to go and say it, didn't you? Oh, oh, oh. Practical retreat yes, of the Wait, wait for me. <sighs> Traveller, Mr. Chicken, come on, Mr. Who? Protect Mr. Chicken! Oh. Dear boy, uh, no chance this would help. Renege, now's your time! You've got to get out of here, you will not die this day! But, what of you? I will fight this foul beast in your name! Oh, you brave soul! I shall see you soon! <laughs>
Oh, thank God I can be myself again. Where in the name of Amelia Jessica Pond have you two been? Is now the best time? What? Smith? I've clearly missed a lot. Uh, well, long story short, me and Bill, uh, sorry, Hartnell, William Hartnell, me and him got sidetracked to Italy, but I swear we were only gone a few minutes. I know you said not to get sidetracked, and I, I wasn't gonna, but then I wanted to. And, uh, but it wasn't for long, okay? It wasn't for long. The time round space is more wibbly wobbly than we thought. It's getting worse with every second, holes opening up everywhere. We need to escape here and then figure out our next step. David, you okay? Never better. Ah, oh, um, it seems I've misplaced my Sonic at a very inopportune time. Hartnell, how's the representative? He's, uh, he's, he's alive, yes, <laughs> but he's breathing. It, it's all over the place. We must get him home at once. And we do that how? If we can get every single Doctor Actor focused on the task, I have no doubt that we can fix this. Where's Duggan? Where's Scanoff? I... Well, there's Scanoff. Sort that, would you? I'll be anywhere else. Oh, oh, fix time whilst you're at it. <laughs> okay, maybe not all Doctor Actors. <laughs> Looks like you have plenty of time, Sylvester. Rather ironic, given the circumstances. <laughs> How's it going? Ah, very well indeed. Although it does still need a bit of time to get our shapely bottoms through it. I'd suggest making your way back here so you can assist me. Good idea. On my way! <laughs> Kisses! <laughs> This is the best day ever! It's going to be okay. Just hang in there. We'll get you home as soon as we can and put everything will be back to normal, eh? My boy. Oh, what do we do? This is chaos! Bloody ood, bloody robot, bloody Gallifrey and bastard! What do we do? Ah! One problem at a time! Time and relative dimensions in space. TARDIS for short. Time will tell. It always does. We have all the time in the world and all the space. I'm offering them to you. All of time and space, anything that ever happened or ever will. Where do you want to start? We're not just fighting the flood. We're fighting time itself. And I'm gonna win now! Oh, you should always waste time when you don't have any. Time is not the boss of you. Even after all this time, he cannot understand. I dare not change the course of history. It burned by the earth. It's just rocks and dust. Before it's time. <laughs>